Hello, veterans. Got some good news. The uh, federal government just gave the VA healthcare system $17 billion uh, under the COVID relief uh, program. This just now happened uh, this week. $17 billion, with a B, going to the uh, VA healthcare system. $14 billion of that $17 billion is strictly for health care to upgrade the facilities, hire doctors and nurses, uh, work on some of the rural access, and um, make sure that the quality care is upgraded. More doctors and nurses. Also, uh, money is going to go, a couple, uh, $200 million is going to uh, go to help reduce these backlog of claims uh, mostly due to uh, COVID because uh, veterans could not go in for that exam that's needed, uh, you know. So, and you know how I feel about that. There should be, uh, you know, you should be able to, if you were a veteran, you were in the military, you should be able to go to the VA and a doctor should uh, determine uh, your disability. Uh, not some board, uh, not some bureaucracy. So, you know, that's my uh, fight, all of our fight, uh, calling our congressmen and senators to let them know. We want uh, health care for all veterans, regardless. Health care for all veterans, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, Reservist, National Guard, we want health care for them and their families, you know. So anyhow, that's our other fight. But the uh, good news is uh, the uh, new VA secretary, Dennis McDonald, I'm not pronouncing his last name correctly, uh, but anyhow, he's on top of it, looks like. He's... Uh, going to manage this uh, additional money plus the, all the VA and he's going to start traveling with uh, congressmen and senators from both parties to VA facilities across the country. He's getting to uh, know the people at the top right now, but uh, he's going to work his way down. And uh, actually the new secretary and the new president, they were at uh, Walter Reed uh, the other day just to show support along with the vice president. So the president, the vice president. So this is a presidential priority. That's what they're calling it. So, hey, stay tuned and uh, let's spread the word. The good news.